Fatty Arbuckle was in the silent movies. He was a superstar in silent films. And his career was lost because he was at, look at you Googling because you're young. He was at a freak party, which has been going on since Hollywood existed. This is nothing new. It might be new to you, just your generation. This ain't nothing new. There, the game doesn't change, John, only the players. And this generation doesn't understand that because they don't know what happened before. If you don't know your history, you're going to repeat the same dumb things in, in, in the future. Fatty Arbuckle was a superstar in silent films. He was at a freak party, which all the big studios used to throw. And he was accused, accused of inserting a bottle in a woman. And it okay. killed his career. His career became flat as 3 day old beer. What I know about the overseers, I don't want to use that gatekeeper nonsense. That's a modern term. Is that as long as they're producing, they're good. No matter what they do, no matter how right, right. vile it is, the gatekeepers will make it go away. Now, what I know, because I went to the top in my industry, as long as you are making money for the powers that be, you can do anything short of watch somebody watching you murder somebody. The right. moment you stop making the money for them, you know, you have no intrinsic value. And I knew that, and that's what I used in the business of show. So I'm not talking about this young man. I don't know him. I don't swim in that pond. It's not necessary for me to bring all these people in, how he took advantage of. They wanted something, he wanted something. If you go to a, a, a shore in the Caribbean or even here, and you see a sign that says, shark sightings, no recreational swimming. You see surfers out there. You see people swimming out there. They go in the water and come out. Nothing might not happen. But then they go in that water and a shark will get them. And that's the end of that. So those, those waters that these people are swimming in are shark infested. In the, in the motion picture industry, in the television industry, and in the recording industry. Those waters are shark infested. You take a chance to go in there. You might come out unscathed. You might not come out. Yeah. Is it? Do you think so it's what they're talking about this young man is doing has been going on since silent film. Do your research, son. After you hang up, say, you know, that old dude was right again. God dang. Because I'm from that era. I yeah. know okay. the history of the industry. The thing that this young man is going through could be uh, they have a ritual, an embarrassment ritual, a shaming ritual. Right. But let me ask you this, because because with that statement, you said this could be a shaming ritual. Does that mean the person's in on it as well as like this is part of my initiation? Because I saw Diddy in Miami and he was smiling as if everything was OK. I don't know if this young man, I saw him on a, in a magazine and I don't want to talk about him, but I saw him on a magazine wearing some pretty zesty clothes. So that said to me, he's probably part of that whole thing. And when you're part of that whole thing, you have to do what you're told. The CIA is subjecting daddy to humiliation and ritual. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur, back with another explosive update about Diddy. And so let's get into it. Days ago, I reported to you that Brendan Paul was Diddy's alleged mule, and that he was arrested on the same day the raids were carried out. And this was because he had illegal substances on his person. And then yesterday I told you that Young Miami is also listed in the amended lawsuit as having brought illegal substances to Diddy, specifically something called Peak Coca-Cola. And basically saying that Brendan was supposed to bring it, he forgot, and then Miami, Young Miami brought it when they were going on the private jet to head to Virginia for a festival. Okay, now here's where it gets real crazy. So last year I dropped the audio of a man named Jonathan Adi who was being questioned by the police in 2018 for something he did at 45's resort down in Florida. And he said something that nobody really caught on at the time, not even me, but I'm gonna make it all make sense. Please pay attention. So this is what it says in the amended lawsuit. According to Mr. Jones, the Combs Enterprise defendants informed the members and associates of the enterprise that it would be safe to transport illegal substances through in their carry-on luggage because according to a TSA advisory, TSA security officers do not search for um, Mary Jane or other illegal substances.
substances. All right, this is absolutely crazy. And the reason being is because Jonathan Audi said something about them carrying these illegal substances. And he also said that Diddy had a hip hop agenda to transport these things through the music industry. Please pay attention. However, he was formerly an FBI informant. The media know about it, then it's, oh man, that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. You mean to tell me in a hotel like that with a wild nigga running up the goddamn hallway, throwing bases and shouting at a woman, slapping her, what, why hasn't this video surveillance been released? Why, ha why is this video out right now? This video is from years ago. You mean to tell me the hotel staff 
the security and all these people, none of them said anything about this video that you can clearly see somebody, I don't know if it's P. Diddy, you see a man dragging a woman up the hall, throwing vases at her and shit, and nobody says nothing until now. And you want me to think that P. Diddy is just a sick motherfucker when nobody said nothing. This woman is cowering on the floor, balling up, getting stumped out, and somebody saw that on the video. And the only time you're gonna say something about it is when Cassie give a lawsuit. This nigga has been telling the black community to vote or die, vote or die, because he's a Democrat fucking pawn, and that's why he was able to goddamn run around here like that. A Democrat little fuck boy that beat up women and do all this gay. Well, I ain't gonna go that far. Do all this punk shit. And now everybody's supposed to be scared of him because he can hire somebody else. You niggas that's been following this man, protecting this man, you guys are sick just like he is. If that's him in that video, and all of you men that's in that circle come out, take that, take that, and all that monkey ass shit, all you niggas sicker than a motherfucker. Because all of this shit has been known. This is how our community is so dysfunctional. They see this type of shit going on and nobody say nothing. Nobody don't say nothing. This man is a, a mogul, and this is allegedly him on a video dragging a woman up the goddamn hallway, and y'all telling me that it ain't some black people that's living just as good as white people? <laughs> he did worse than Dana White. I'm talking about Dana White this whole time. Dana White slapped his wife two times. This motherfucker stomping people up the goddamn hallway, dragging them, throwing shit at him. I'm like, I'm looking at this video like, the fuck? And the first thing that came to my mind is how is somebody this visible, this famous, with this much money getting away with that type of shit? And I said, Kwame, why are you so surprised, boy? You've been right this whole time. This is why they so mad at you. You've been 100% right this whole time, boy. For the right person, they always look the other way. Yeah, for the right person, they're going to look the other fucking way. And it's sad. It's a sad day. I'm more mad at the people who saw the video years ago and never did nothing. That hotel should be boycotted. Fuck just P. Diddy. That hotel should be closed. It shouldn't be one black woman that go in that goddamn hotel and feel safe. Because you mean to tell me they got a footage of somebody whooping a woman's ass and dragging her up the goddamn hallway and throwing vases at her and no hotel security said nothing. All of the hotel security staff should be fired. The hotel security should be at the hotel should be added in that lawsuit. How do you protect a situation like that? And then now we all supposed to be only up in arms about P. Diddy? When you, somebody has to enable this guy to do this shit. How did this take so long to come out? And if Cassidy never caught up that, brought up that lawsuit, this nigga would still be at the take that, take that party. Man, I'm out of here. I got a graduation to go to. I told y'all, it's a go along, get along gang, and these niggas will look the other way for the person they like and the person that put some squiller in their pocket. That's all to it. That's it. That's all. Ain't no such thing as no goddamn black unity. It ain't no such thing as unity, period. You better mind yourself, mind your business, and take care of your family, because that's all you got. These other motherfuckers out here in the world, they'll look the other way. If somebody kicking my ass, ain't none of my brothers gonna look the other way. Somebody kicking my ass, all the people that love me, they ain't gonna look the other goddamn way. So that's who I got them look out for and rock out with. The rest of this shit is all phony to me. Yo. This. So why do they need to grab him right away? In what may become one of the biggest child molesting cases ever on record, seven nursery school teachers were arraigned today on more than 100 counts of child molestation. The accused include the preschool owner, 76-year-old Virginia McMartin, her daughter, and two grandchildren. Finding out just what happened to the McMartin preschoolers in Manhattan Beach, California, would spark a national media obsession. A case which has shocked much of Southern California and and caused a lot of parents to worry about the safety of their children. Setting off a panic around the country. In alarming numbers, preschoolers have been exploited. Could it be your child? The media blitz demonstrated unstinting belief that this had happened. It was sensational and lurid and seemed to always be expanding. 
1,400 children in this community have been ritualistically abused. It's like the government itself doesn't want to get caught by its own involvement. So I guess what I'm trying to figure out is like, people can go away. I mean, that's what that's what people were saying, and maybe you know everybody's a conspiracy theorist now, but that's what people are saying about the Diddy situation. Like when the D, when the when the feds rolled up, you know, with the fucking Hummers and shit, they're like, it wasn't about Diddy. It was about if there were tapes of powerful people there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. They were the ones that called. They're like, I need to protect myself. So go in there with all the things and rip any tapes or any evidence. Well, Prince Harry was hanging with Diddy. I mean, everybody hung with Diddy. That's the other tricky yeah, thing. Like, Diddy hung out with everybody. And I've spoken to a bunch of people who are like, yo, great dude. Like, always there for you. Never asked for a single thing. To one in the morning. And then... Then the freak off everybody again. says get out of the house yeah, yeah it's yeah. like the gremlins start eating after <laughs> yeah, midnight yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody Bro. tells the stories like i saw I go upstairs and these dudes are fucking yeah. like right on the couch yeah and then i go in this room and these guys are fucking and it's yeah. like and pros like apparently he was getting male gigolos to fuck girls that, fuck girls. Yeah, that's the that was one of the rumors, like the Male freak off. So he would hire the professional dicks to have sex with the girls. And I think he would watch allegedly. That's that's what was alleged, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And that's the other thing. Like, I wonder, like, is that just a power thing? It's a Caligula thing. What does that mean? Caligula, like the the emperor. Did you ever see that movie, Caligula? No. no. It's about just Roman empires being completely out of control. Caligula is like almost like porn. And it was a movie made, I want to say in the 70s. It's a crazy movie. But wow. it's just it's just detailing extreme excess where you can never fill the hole. <laughs> but what, yeah. what is the hole you need to fill? Like I'm trying to find like what's the just catalyst? chaos. What year was this? 79. 79. Yeah. Mm. That's Malcolm McDowell, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the dude from Clockwork Orange. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a crazy movie, man. But and I it's, it's still mild in comparison to what Absolute have. Absolute power corrupts Caligula. Okay, so then there's the question. It's like, can you take a completely normal person, give them power, and then they become that? Or does it take a power-hungry person that has this void that they need to be filled, that needs to be filled, and then when they are given that power, you see the worst version of them? Ask your CIA boy. I bet he's got the answers. I bet he knows the exact formula. To corrupting somebody yeah. or to... What happens? Like, like, what happens to these people? It appears as though the administration is trying to avoid being discovered for its own role. What is the fate of these individuals? Remember that Diddy possessed enough tapes to extort anyone at any time. 